Okay, let's have a go at the Battle of Zama, the final major battle in the Second Punic War. 202 BC, we have the Romans versus Carthage. Spain has been lost. Hannibal quickly recalled from Italy. So we have Scipio, Scipio in the center. Ly Lyolus in the left. And Messinissa over here on the right has defected with his Numidian cavalry from Carthage and now has joined the Romans. On the other side we have Hannibal over here. And then we have, I believe, his brother Hasbrul over on the right. So, Hannibal's infantry uh, outnumbers, but the Roman cavalry, for probably the first time, is far superior. So, historically, the um, Carthaginian cavalry drove the Roman cavalry off the field and came back and surrounded the Romans. Uh, Hannibal's hoping to be able to break the Roman line before that happened, but he wasn't able to do it. So, let's see if his elephants are a bit more effective in this battle than they were historically. Hopefully things should be a bit more stable this time, as far as like the camera work and stuff goes. Um, we'll see. So, I've got... Rome goes first. Each player has five cards. We play to the maximum, I think the maximum of eight victory points in this. So, let's see what we have and get started. So we have leadership in any section, plus three adjacent hexes, line command, order three on the left, two on the right, or heavy. Here's the battlefield as it looks. You can see we have heavy in the back, medium, some mediums here on the lines, auxilias, um, no real ranged units, and then we have the Numidian cavalry over on the right, and we have a couple of medium cavalry over on the left. Hannibal on the other side almost mirrors what we have, um, but has a few more light units and a few of the warrior units over there. So mm. while I think this out, uh, you think about which one you would have played, and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, a pretty easy decision, I think. I think line command is kind of the the obvious first move, at least for me. Uh, we really need to make some space for us so we don't get retreated off the map and start taking casualties. So I'm just going to move all the foot units up. And let's see if I go... I want to let these guys do their work, so let's do that. Move like this. Everybody up. Oops. And I'll move the rest of them uh, off camera. Back we are again. We drew an order three units on the left. So we have a couple cards to really start to push our left side forward. And then this leadership in any section could push it more as well, although we do have the Superior Cavalry, maybe we should be getting this, them in soon. Some good questions. Let's see what Carthage has in their starting hand. A lot of vent cards. We have Class of Shields, which is fantastic, we'll save that for later. Line Command of our own, Double Time and Coordinated Attack. So our elephants are within range of the main line. The question is, do we want to send them out? I think they move to. I'm fairly certain. Yes, they do. <sighs> It'd be a waste to use a line command on them, is kind of the only issue. Because um, we can only move one with a line command. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about this one. Well, I've come to the conclusion that this hand is kind of terrible. But I want to get those elephants out from around my units as quickly as possible. So I can either do that with a double time, which feels like a bit of a waste because I can really get the rest of my army up quickly. 
Um, so I think I'm going to try and do a coordinated attack, one in each section. Not happy about it, but what can you do? I'm going to move these elephants up. Try to take out the leader's unit. I know they won't probably survive it, but maybe they can do a whole lot of damage on the way. And then on the left, I'm going to bring the cavalry over to hit these auxilia. And then I'm going to bring these cavalry to um, peltist against those peltists a little. That's kind of the plan. So let's do the elephant first. He is going to attack the leader's unit. So he needs blue symbols. So he's going to roll four dice. Looking for blue symbols. And swords are also good. So he got a blue and a sword. He gets to re-roll the sword. So that's two hits. Okay, only two hits. There was a leader in that hex, so let's check for leader. Death. Nope. No good. Now uh, they're going to battle back and almost certainly kill this elephant. Yep, elephant dead. One point for the Romans. And then um, he could move forward, but he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to break his line. So that's it for the Carthaginians. They draw another double time card. So they certainly have an interesting hand. Oh, right. Uh, we still need to do cavalry. Over here on the left against Auxilia. So that's three dice. Oh, three hits. Nice. The Auxilia do battle back. Three dice. No hits. Okay, and then lastly, we have one ranged attack against the Pelters, no hit. So that's that. Okay, so back to the Romans. Well, I really want to move that Auxilia over there to get him out of harm's way, and I wouldn't mind engaging them with this cavalry while I'm at it. So, let's go ahead then and do three units on the left. I think that is as good of a thing as any. So I'm going to activate him and move him back. One, two. And then I get two more. I'm going to move him up here and then him up here. So I'm going to roll the leader's medium cavalry unit first and see... Three dice. Cannot evade. That's going to be two hits. And then battle back. One hit. Check for leader death. Nope. And now the second cavalry unit against the Carthaginian. A hit and a death. So that left cavalry. now been eliminated. Giving another point for the Romans. And they could move forward, move an additional, and attack. Um, this guy can. I will move him forward one. I will not move, well, he can get charged there, can he? And I will move an additional one. So he's here. I think that's legal. <clears throat> All right, draw a card. Carthaginians. I'm thinking of hitting that left flank hard by playing a double time. So that allows us to move our warriors three and still combat. So these guys can really charge in and hit against the leader here. Same here. And then this guy can move up two. <clears throat> so we're going to give that a shot. They're at full strength. So we have four here on the leader. Uh, 
that's a medium unit. So that is a hit and two retreats. He can ignore one of them, but he cannot ignore the other. So that means he's going to retreat all the way back to the back of the board. They will move forward and battle again against this auxilia with four dice. Ooh, that is four hits. An insta-kill from full strength. Carthaginians are fighting back hard. So that's a point for the Carthaginians. They can then move again, but they cannot do close combat again. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. But now these guys are going to attack these medium. Back over. Four dice. Wow. What a result. Okay, so three retreats. So what does that mean? Well, he is supported by at least two adjacent units, so he ignores one of them. The other two he has to take. So he has to move back two into spaces he cannot do so, so he takes two hits. And now he rolls and battle back. What do we got? Two hits and a retreat. So two hits. I remember if they retreat one or two. They retreat two. So we'll form back into the line there. And then no, they cannot advance forward because they were defending. So that worked out fairly well for the Carthaginians, I think. Let's have them draw a replacement card. Order light units. Gives them a bit more flexibility in their hand, which was sorely needing, needed. Now we can do Rome. All right, Rome. Mm -hmm. Leadership in any section seems preferable. Since we don't have any in the center in any other way, and I want to fight against those elephants before they have a chance to do anything in particular. So I am going to do that. Leaders hex plus three adjacent. So I'm going to activate this leader. I'll move, yeah, this peltist, this peltist, him. Then I get one more. Um, I'm tempted to move these guys back out of the way. That is an easy point for them. Although, they, do they have to be leaders hex and three adjacent linked hexes? So I don't think I could do that. I could do this, 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 and then one more. Do I do this and try to kill them that way? They're so much less scarier once they've taken a hit. So I am going to try and do that. A bit risky, but what we're going to do. So we're going to move these forward. It's going to break our line, though. But I don't have a line command, so I'm going to do that and that. The leader also gets to move. I think I'm actually going to bring him in here behind to support. And then those. So let's do Peltist against Elephant. I'm just going to roll it here. No hit. Peltist against Elephant. No hit. And then over here we have Warriors or uh, Medium Infantry versus Warriors. Let's see what we get. Four dice. Looking for big rolls. So that is a hit and a retreat. So let's move them back. One, two. And they were here. I don't want them to move forward. Okay. So that was that for the Romans. Let's have them draw. Now time for Carthage. I think line command would work very well at this point. So that's what we're going to do in a second. OK, Carthaginians, line command. Play that. Went ahead and drew their next card. It's counterattack. OK, 
So, this should be interesting. Hopefully you can see relatively well enough. So, one, one, oh no, they're only allowed to move one, aren't they? I don't think their charge ability can supersede that. Uh, activate but not move, although, oh, that's so terrifying. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get those slingers. Um, we'll move them over to the right, I guess, like that. Now oh, they'll just clog up things. We'll leave them there. One, one. Uh, they were here, right? So I'm going to move them there. So we have a bit more room. Should be interesting. Stay away from the leader. <laughs> eh. Up. Peltists are within range, so they stay. One, one, and one. All right. A lot of movement, a lot of combat. figure a way where you could see the combat like the units as well as what we're rolling at the same time we'll try this have a dice tower right there okay so let's start on the left these warriors versus those medium infantry three dice taking a wound see that. Uh, so no hits now they battle back that's going to be one hit. They can ignore the flag. All right, let's do elephants to there. It's only going to be two dice. Actually, let's do the warriors then. Medium infantry. Um, one hit and a flag. One hit and a flag. They move forward. Continue the assault, momentum advance, and attack. Two hits, that's a death. They will not momentum advance, and Rome will take their third point of eight. Okay, not in range. In range, one dice. Actually, let's do the elephants. No, one dice. They can't retreat, doesn't matter. Uh, retreat flag, which isn't, yeah, is ignored because they have two adjacent. Uh, those should be able to shoot through the elephant. One hit. Elephant's turn. Two dice. No hits. They can ignore the retreat. They battle back against the elephant. For no hits. Oh, elephants are not supported. Crap. Yeah, they do not get support from adjacent units. I'm pretty sure. No, they do, but they don't count as support. How does that work? Look up the rules. Elephants. Um, elephant does not take a loss. Two loss for each. All right, I'm going to look it up. Okay, here it is. Page 14. Elephants may act as a support unit, but may not receive support from units or leaders. Uh, so that is particularly bad for the guys behind them because since they have to take this and the retreat path is blocked, that means uh, the elephant does not take a loss. However, the two blocking units each take one loss. So from the light infantry and the auxilia, both take one. He's not within two. Uh, he's not activated by a line command. So that's it for them. Okay, that was that. Back to the Romans. Let's try and finish off those elephants before they cause us too many more problems. Mm, this inspired left leadership is dead, unfortunately, because we don't have any leaders in the left. Bit of a problem. Oh, yes, we do, but he's way over there in cavalry zone. And we kind of want to keep him... Um, out of harm's way. Uh, we might want to get him up here to support some of these units once they actually get into melee, but 
Uh, let's see, what should we do? Think about moving three on the right, because we hardly have anything on the left at this point. Which is not so bad, because we do have two cards to move the right. So, hmm, do we want to do three or two now? If we activated three, what would we do with those three? We could do Peltist, Peltist, move them up. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Let's do three on the right, and let's bring in our Numidian Cavalry. So they have a movement of four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is three Cavalry units, one with a leader. I'm going to roll the one with the leader first. They get two close combat die. Okay, that's good. We don't want any retreats yet. So there's one hit. Two more for this one. Okay, and two more for the last. Oh, and they'll get to battle back for each of those, won't they? So uh, they will battle back straight forward. This is a light, isn't it? Yes. Misses, battle back, one hit, battle back, no hits. Okay, survived with the skin of his teeth. Let's see if he can do it another round. All right, well, we're not in position to use class of shields yet. Order light troops could certainly get us into position to do that. In fact, I think that that's what we'll do. We'll move in light troops forward to get in as many in combat as possible, and then we'll do class of shields next turn. It would be best to get our mediums and heavies in. If we could only get some more stuff on the left there. Some of that stuff is pretty vulnerable, though. So yeah, let's try that. Uh, only equal to or less than our command. So let's order light troops. Let's move him back. One, two, three, four, back there. That's one. Um, well, we know they can evade us. Let's go one, two, that's two, three, And four. Let's start on the left. We're going to do these auxilia versus these uh, velites, peltists. So that's three dice. They don't have leader support, which is unfortunate. We really need to get those leaders up. Actually doing something. Um, that's two hits, though. Can't complain about that. They do get to battle back, though. Um, they count as support, but do not gain support themselves, so that can be ignored safely. Okay, next is these, and I'm going to attack against those Peltists, because I don't especially want to get battled back. <laughs> Although they can evade, can't they? Well, we'll do this. Although we can... Yeah. I uh, should have done the other way around, because that's no hits. And then this on the leader. The leader will try and evade. But still takes a hit. Check for leader loss. Oops. Nope. Evades. They don't get to momentum advance on an evade, I'm fairly certain. So I think that's it for that. So let's go back to Rome. What are we at now? Uh, one for Carthage, three points for Rome. Okay. Rome, Rome. What will we do? Well, we need to get our left leader 
in commanding these guys. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to order anyone on the left except inspired left leadership, which will only do him. So not great. We can start moving in our heavies. We have a three center and we have a couple different rights that we can do. Uh, we could charge down that cavalry in the back. That seems kind of risky. I do kind of want to get him into position, but let's let's do a little medium, uh, a little middle fighting. I think we'll start to move those up. We'll just kind of try and get some things in a little bit better position. I guess I'm not sure. So we could pelt with these something might be useful. These guys are in danger again of being charged. Let me think. Okay, well, because we can actually follow up and attack on the right, uh, that's what we're going to do, is try to maneuver some things around so we can get the right going. So I'm going to play, nope, not that one. Three on the right. So from the Romans' perspective, I'm going to move back these guys. Their full movement of two. They haven't done much, but maybe we can do something with them later. And then I'm going to move these guys up. So that's two units. And then I'm going to move him around so I can support these guys. One, two, three, four. For light cav. Okay. So that's that. So we're going to activate these two. Oh no, we only get the one, don't we? one we actually moved because that was one two three units yeah tisk tisk well that's uh, what we're gonna do we drew a right four so we can really start pounding away on the right uh, let's do him here since that one's not supported that's four dice coming down the pipe that is no hits but two retreats that they have to take so they have to go one, two, three, four, all the way back. And does that break our line? It does. I'm actually just going to stay there and not take the bonus combat. I, I want to keep a line as much as possible, I think. I think. Okay, so is it time for Class of Shields? No, not especially. Nothing's in very good position. We do have a counterattack, so we could do that three back to the um, them. But I think we have the advantage on the left, and I'd like to press that more. Especially if I can knock this leader out before he can do anything useful. Although the elephants are there in the center, aren't they? Um, elephants count as heavy troops, don't they? You know what? Let's do that. Let's order heavy troops. That's five of them. So we're going to charge in the elephants, one, two, just activate, it scares me, but <laughs> going to do it. And then we can't move both of these guys up, so let's just get one. That's all the heavy units on the board for the Carthaginians, so let's do this, and we're going to attack that for four dice, and there's only two blocks left there, so we only need two hits. And that's two hits. So that's a point for the Carthaginians, two points of eight. And we check for leader loss. One dice, if we roll leader tumble, he dies. He dies. Ouch, for the Romans, that's an additional point for the Carthaginians. And the Romans are one leaders less, so equal leaders on both sides. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, and elephants may advance and may battle, so they're going to. Now the question is, do they go for the easy kill? I think they have to complete it first because I'm worried about these guys not finishing them. But where are they going to go? So let's um, go ahead and have them attack against this one here. Four dice. Uh, that's going to be a retreat, which they can ignore. But a sword hit, which is a hit and rolls again. Sword hit, which is a hit and rolls again, and a flag. So that's two flags, actually. They can't ignore both. So that's three hits, 
on them. But they do battle back, hopefully finishing off the elephants. Indeed, finishing off the elephants. So Rome is halfway there, four of eight. But they have a lot of single units, including his medium infantry over here. Uh, so that's a lot of easy points on the board if Carthage can take advantage of that. And that was everyone, right? So Carthage finally drew a leadership in any section, a card that um, has a variety of uses, unlike the others that they have. Okay, well, uh, we're basically all on the right for the Romans. It's all the cards we have, unless we want to move up some heavy troops. Uh, which I don't think we do. So, do we want to do four or two? Well, I kind of want to skirt around with this guy over here, I think. That's one, two, three. He will be able to make that. So that's definitely one that I want to activate. And this is definitely two. Not sure what I would do with you. I don't know what I would do with you either. So let's just do three for now. Oh, I don't have it. Three. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, I have a four and I have a two. Uh, let's just do the two for now. I think. Save that four. I got a move, fire, move. Okay, so two. So one, two, three. <clears throat> for that, and then activate this. Let's do the mounted unit in the back. Um, he cannot evade. Not that he could anyway. But uh, two dice. Oh, two misses. Battle's back. Two misses. And that is um, leaving him quite vulnerable, isn't it? All right, four dice here against the Exilia, supported by the leader. Only one hit. They battle back. No leader support for them, though. Uh, no hits. Okay, well, that's that turn. Bit underwhelming. Okay, I'm thinking about doing a leadership plus three in any section. To really start moving these heavies in. Plus, I could even activate these elephants and maybe finish them off. Or him. Yeah, let's... Well... Uh, yeah... Unless we want to do three on the left. Now let's do this. Uh, leadership in three adjacent hexes. So activate one, the leader, which doesn't count against the, the three. I'm gonna move this leader up, which is two. Then we get one more. Um, I wanna move these guys forward, these pelters. I'm gonna move these pelters up one so they can pelt in sort of that direction there. No, well, he, was he adjacent? I don't know if he was. Uh, let's move the slingers here. Pretty sure they were adjacent. No, I don't think that's legal either. I think this is legal though. Okay. Oh no. They're all dying from exhaustion from the lengthy battle. Okay. I need to mark people that I've been moving because I'm forgetting. So they moved two, they can't attack. Uh, they moved, are in range. I did activate them, so that's three dice. Should finish them off, and does. So that's another point. That is a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. Carthage and Rome. Four of eight, both sides. All right. What does Carthage draw? Three in the center. Exactly what they needed. All right. Now for Rome. Rome is not looking good. They still have a lot of very vulnerable units out there. But I think we're going to move ahead with the plan that we had and do order four units on the right. Really press press them where we think they're weakest. We also drew an outflank card. to finally get us to move some of that stuff in the left. Okay, so activate him for that, which is one. How many did I say? Four? Four. One, two, three. No, he's not in the right. 
one, two. Three. What do I want to do with these pelters? You can see, so four. Okay, let's do them first. Four dice. Uh, so many retreats. <laughs> three retreats, and they can't ignore any of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're short of that. <clears throat> Um, they do move forward and attack the elephants in this case. And that's only going to be one hit. And the, adult, the elephants battle back. Again, four. Ooh, dear. Okay, so one hit and a sword. Gets to roll again. No hits. Not so bad. Not so bad. They no longer have a target. Those cavalry back there against that one. Two dice. No hits. Battle back. One hit. That You guys are just not getting the job done, Numidian Cavalry. You have a name, not just cavalry. You should be doing better than this. Okay, two Carthage. Well, we're still not quite in class of shields range. So I think we want to do three in the center. Really start moving this line forward. One. Ah. E. One. Two. Three. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So here to here, three dice supported by the leader. That's a kill, thanks to the leader. So one for the Carthaginians, they are up. Oh, come on, there we go. Uh, do they wanna, do they get to, they can advance but not continue battling. They don't want to do that. No one else can battle. So, that's it for Carthage. What do they draw? Another counterattack. They'll be playing it next turn, I have a feeling, because the Romans are going to be playing out flank, which means finally, we get these guys over to the left to do something. Uh, I'm going to bring him in to start to support those guys once they hopefully start moving in. I'm going to have these cavalry try and charge down those, so that's two on the left, and then if we do two on the right, well, that, and then, hmm. let's move these cavalry up one and just take a pelt at those, I guess. All right, let's do the cavalry in the back, melee, two dice. Oh, still no hit. Uh, let's have one cavalry shoot. Oh, and they battle back, don't they? Oh, that's a hit. <clears throat> do they? They don't ignore that, do they? So one, two, three, four. Okay, he's going to pelt. Miss. So that was those. And then on the left over here, we have those medium cavalry versus those warriors. Three dice. Oh, nothing. Warriors battle back. Three dice. Ooh, two hits and a retreat. Devastating. Two, three. Okay. Things are really heating up now. Rome drew I am Spartacus. Um, well, is there any reason to do a counterattack? We'd rather do a center, but we don't have one. So, counterattack it is. Well, we could do double time. Ooh. Yeah, double time could really change things, couldn't it? <sighs> okay, let's think. If we do outflank, hopefully I will be able to evade, but three, we can't block off his evade. 
We might be able to kill him. There's just two points sitting there, right? And then there's a point over there. That's three points. Or we could do a double time and just unexpectedly rush with these. But I think I'm going to do the counterattack because we have two of them. Uh, let's save the double time. Let's do counterattack. They drew two center units and replacement. They don't do that to the end, but whatever. Doesn't matter. So, uh, two, right. Hmm. Well, let's move him up here and him. I am actually going to move him all the way over to there. Although, now, let's keep them together. Don't know there's much sense in it, but... Okay, so over to here. Um, hmm. Well, let's move you up to here. I know that they're just going to evade, but... Well, and then one, two, three, to block their retreat. Let's actually do this first, then, because now they can't evade. Uh, that's going to be one hit. Battle back. No hits, although a retreat, which they do take. Two. Okay. And now him to him. Two dice. Oh, there it goes. And they get to... Uh, they don't get to the advance. Oh, and battle. So advance, may move one hex, and then may battle. One, two, three. Did I already flip that? I, I just stood up. Did I stand up to flip it? Crap, I don't remember. I think I did. So let's do this. No hits. Battle back. No hits. Okay. To the left. Here to here, he evades. But we still get three dice. Oh, nothing. So back, one, two. And then here to here, he cannot evade, he was Zillia. And that's death. They move forward and attack again. This could be game. That is a medium cavalry that they're attacking. Three dice. Ooh, okay. Now let's see if the leader dies. If he dies, it's game over. No, he doesn't die. Now, he does have to retreat, right? I believe he has to retreat. I don't think he can just move over and go to them. I think he has to go backwards. Okay, well... That was interesting. <laughs> they almost won it, but not quite. What can Rome do? Rome needs four points. Is there any possible way they can get four points on the board? They can get two on the left, and there's two on the right. They don't have that flank card, though. In fact, their hand looks a lot like the Carthaginians did a few turns ago. I mean, we could really push in with our heavy infantry and start that battle off. But I think it's going to be too little too late for us. I think I'm going to have to do I Am Spartacus and just hope to roll what I need. It comes to this. Roll dice equal to my commands. So that's five dice. Okay. For each unit symbol rolled, units may be ordered. Okay, so three lights and one medium. Okay, well. Three lights and a medium. We can't get far enough away. Three lights. <laughs> well, that elephant is a point. So this is going to be one of our lights. I set one down, so I remember that I moved it. That's one light. I think we have to charge with that cavalry and hope.
So one, two, he moved two left. There's no possible way they can kill him. What lights do we have left? We have these Peltists. We have these that can do a maximum of two, which isn't enough to kill anyone. I think we're going to have to move these guys over to here, have them attack there and just pray, and then move this guy here and hope. All right. So we get one extra dice, which is nice. So three dice here. Of course, if any of these battle backs result in, well, I think we lost the game right there, but we'll play it out. Oh, there's no hits, is it? Uh, battle back, three dice, no hits. Uh, he will attack him as well with four dice. Uh, he rolled a retreat. He has to retreat two, and he can't, so that's a point. I think we're going to be one shy, though. Although, he can move move again and then battle back, can he? Right ho. Oh, no. Ha! Huh. Um... Is there any way? Okay. He has to move. He has to retreat three, doesn't he? But, yeah, and there's. If he could get to the leader, he could stop, but he can't. So one, two, three off the field. And that is a victory for the Carthaginians. Hannibal won the day after all. Rome was short three, but not as much as it seems, because let's just roll these out. Uh, if I would have done Auxilia next against the elephant, um. That would have been a retreat, which would have been two and two. And then him versus that, which would have been no retreat. And battle back, which wouldn't have been anything. So, yeah, it. there were a lot of one pieces left on the board. You can see here, there was one point there waiting. Two points back here, that point, so that's four, five, six points. Um, had the dice been a little kinder to the Romans, uh, whereas the Romans were in much better shape as far as what units were on the board. They only had another one, two going, so a differential of four. The Romans were down three points, mm -hmm. so had the dice been a little kinder, the Romans certainly could have done it. That game was very close until the very end, though. Very enjoyable, fantastic scenario. One of my favorites so far, I think. Uh, it felt very balanced, unlike some of the others. Um, so yeah, that's the Battle of Zama, which is the last battle in the uh, base box, on the back page of the scenario booklet. I haven't done all of them, I just was kind of skipping around. Uh, so I'm gonna start cleaning this up, I guess. Um, is there anything else to say? If you have a scenario that you would like me to do that's in one of the first three expansions, let me know in the comments and I can do that. Also, if you have a recommendation of a different game that you would like me to play next, I think I'll do Blood and Roses, maybe? But I could be persuaded to do a Warriors of God or even a Hammer of the Scots instead. So look at my uh, collection on Board Game Geek if there is something that you see that you'd like me to run. So thanks so much for joining me. I had a great time. I hope you did too. And I'll see you guys next time.